this is the cancer in love please what can they expect in love for this week please nice magician you're trying to manifest someone or someone's manifesting you but this is definitely someone who has that willpower that determination and success to take action and make things happen okay could be a little manipulative energy but with a one year i mean you're starting over or you're just going back to square one with starting something new Any more? see just when i said you're starting over right we have a one and one year we have two aces here which means you're starting a new cycle with someone you are that's a brand new passionate beginning that's a lot of passion that's something that you really want and uh, there's probably equal attraction between you and the person you're dealing with but uh, this is definitely someone who is um who's very drawn to you energetically okay you have that enthusiasm to make things happen this person is giving oh do the cards just fell off there's a lot going on between you guys seriously <laughs> there's this electrifying experience between you guys is what i'm getting okay and with a magician you could have manifested this person okay you could have queen of cups there is someone here who is in love with you or you love someone with queen of cups here you're trusting your psychic guides you trust your intuition this is someone super psychic with the queen of cups here okay you could be dealing with someone who's manifesting you and you both have a lot of passion for each other okay and there's this new cycle you know you're at the beginning stages of a cycle here could be something you could be a renewal in the same story okay but with the magician here and the queen of cups here right i feel that could be an energetic difference between you guys the magician is all about being on their own right they're usually single they're commitment phobic okay and they like to be on their own this is someone who knows that they can just do whatever they want okay this was this is someone who feels they can do whatever they want they have the power to do what they want they have the power over you okay this person could have been very manipulative in the past year and that could be one reason where you know you've probably been withdrawn okay you've been withdrawn from this person you're probably you know um being a little unforgiving a little bitter a little resentful that is love here no doubt you do love this person but right now you're shut down but this person's manifesting this new beginning with you probably because you could have wanted something very serious okay i mean you're the queen of cups right emotions mean a lot to you something stable means a lot to you and you want a very emotionally fulfilling relationship and you're dealing with a magician here okay who's a trickster okay so yeah but this person wants to return to you two of pentacles you're going to be in two minds here of whether you want this person back or not because i'm getting here that you're being a little resentful right now i'm saying i'm forgiving and uh this person could have hurt you definitely definitely hurt you maybe this is just someone who wanted fun without commitment and you were very serious about them there's a decision that needs to be made okay this could be you this could be them but there is a lot of juggling going on here should I, should I not? Do I want to, do I not want to? Or this could just be someone coming in to balance out the situation. This could be someone who is neglecting you. Or they gave you prior, they gave priority to everything else except you. Okay. Whatever. The problem here is with the two of pentacles that they're still trying to balance things out. Okay. You're still not on their priority list. Just saying. If this is an established relationship here with the ace of wands here, what I don't like here is you're restarting okay so it's not like you're going into something stable it's just that the passion is reigniting one thing i'd like to say is that <coughs> you could be dealing with someone who likes to click the restart button over and over again okay i mean till there's this electrifying experience between you guys they like to be there but when the road gets tough right that's when they run okay and then they come back after they feel it's okay and then they want to restart with you and that's something that you're not you're not in for that that's something that's all. I mean, the magician and the queen of cups, dudes, that, that's like, I don't know, a very vague combination. But, well, anyways. With the king of swords here. I'm getting you're going to have a very logical approach towards this person here. Or this could just be this person you know who's just see we have the 
the two of pentacles between the queen of oh, the queen of cups and the king of swords which means that there's going to be like a little bit of an imbalance here which of pentacles see you're dealing with someone you know i mean too many people here oh my god okay so i'm gonna put it two ways either you're shut off which i really feel that you're very shut off to this person this person is manifesting you back they want this beginning with you but you're shut off because you don't want this fun without commitment bullshit you want that nonsense you want probably like an ace of cups would be a better um, option for you rather than an ace of mods or even an ace of pentacles here now this person is coming here <clears throat> this would be someone very cold detached they're coming into clear the air or this is just you who's who is very emotional but this time you're trying to juggle and you're trying to balance out the situation by not giving this a more emotional approach this time this time you want to give a very very logical approach to the situation you want to cut out any bullshit you're going to cut through the bullshit and with the king of swords you all you want to do is deal with the facts logic okay you don't want any emotions in between because this is you just being focused on your own okay you're very upset you're very upset this person's made you very sad they broke your heart they broke in your heart big time okay and now you're not sure of whether you want this person but this person's coming towards you with this beginning and you're just not sure if you want it but whatever it is right your approach towards this person is gonna be like see that sword here right it's gonna be like let's just cut the bullshit baby they're coming in with a page of pentacles here okay so they're wanting to offer you something stable but the only thing with the page of pentacles is that um yes this is someone who's wanting to be uh you know who's planning and manifesting something okay they want to make things right with you but again the page of pentacles is someone who's um they have the basic feelings for you okay for sure they do that's where they're coming back they want to raise the white flag but uh, they're not on the same level with you. That's what the Ace of Wands and that's why we don't have something more stable and secure here. They feel they have that uh, power over you and they can get you back. You know, they, you, they have you wrapped around their fingers and they can get you back, you know. They do. They do. They're coming in with that page of pentacles that could be an apology, a gift, whatever, right? But yeah, they're wanting to invest into this but not at the kind of level that you want to, okay? Because that's a page, you're a queen, so... That's why your approach is the king of swords here. That's why. I mean, I can definitely look at this, this as another person here, but I don't see that so much. Intuitively, I feel that you're trying to contemplate on whether you should give this an emotional approach, whether you should open your heart to this person again, or whether you should just cut this bullshit out and you know, just be like, I know what I want. I'm clear about what it is. And you just don't want them and just... Five of Wands. See, this person, when this person comes in, right, they're going to bring a lot of drama and chaos. A lot of drama and chaos. There are probably even multiple people involved here. But the five of wands, it's you guys again. See, that's exactly what I said. You guys are still not on the same page. Again, when they're going to come in, they're going to bring in that drama. See, we have two of pentacles. A lot of contemplation, a lot of indecision, you know, indecisiveness. We have three different suits here. We have the cups, we have the swords, we have the pentacles here, okay? This is definitely them. This is definitely them, okay? Without a doubt, it's definitely them. But I think you, you, this could also be you try, being a little conflicted in your head, okay? Because I do see you as someone who's not sure about what you, if you want this person back or not. Like I said, right, you're dealing with someone who likes to, you know, like manipulate you, you know, they're very, you know, that those tricks and games and you're just fed up you're fed up with it and again when they come in with the drama the chaos you guys not being on the same page you're like you know what i'm done bro you know that's too much you just want a very simple loving relationship unconditional love very matured you know but this person that you're dealing with i mean this could be someone very good looking someone who's got the gift of gap and this is someone who just knows how to get their way with you okay so be very careful about that ace of swords whatever this person is bringing right they're bringing in clarity here with ace of swords it could even be you with ace of swords and king of swords who's just completely cutting them off we have two aces here okay which is clarity and passion here so probably they're just going to be very clear about what they want yeah. you know <clears throat> the ace of swords is a double-edged sword right so either it can completely cut you off or it can just bring a lot of clarity to a situation where there was a lot of darkness in yeah 
trio of wands here. Really. Looks like your ships are coming in. You probably have manifested this person here. I think this person's gonna come in, you guys are gonna start together and then again there's gonna be some conflict and then again it's gonna be like, you know, you're gonna be like again on the waiting side and, the, and you know, like the waiting period is gonna start again. I have a feeling this person's, they're just very indecisive, okay, very indecisive. Again, they're offering you a page and I, I just don't know, I, I don't know how long this person is gonna stay in your life, okay, because you've been hurt before and you can be hurt again. Three of Wands is manifestation, but again, it's also the waiting card, right? Patiently waiting and waiting and waiting. Six of Cups. Okay. There is a reconciliation here. Six of Cups here. It is on the cards. So the reconciliation is here. It is happening. It is happening. But there is going to be some drama before that happens here. I feel that maybe you, it could also be that you're someone who will cut them off or there's just going to be a lack of communication or something like that for a period of time, okay? And they're going to be waiting for you. I don't see as you, this as you waiting for them. I think they're going to be waiting for you once they come in, right? They're going to be waiting for an answer from you. Because with the six of cups here, this person realizes that you are their soulmate. Feel a strong soul tie connection, you know, to you. That's where they're coming in again. They are invested. Agreed. But not as much as you are, okay? Like, love is not a priority for them. That's just how I look at it. It's not. That's why there's that constant juggling going on, you know? And then there's five of wands, which means, again, two people not on the same page, constant bickering, arguments, conflicts, etc., right? So I don't know if it's the best for you to um, get back to this person here. But... I think that your approach towards this person is going to be very logical. That's Ace of Swords, right? That's cutting through the bullshit. King of Swords, mental clarity. So, yeah, I feel that <clears throat> when this person comes in, there's going to be some drama that they're getting with them, for sure. But they're probably still going to wait for this reconciliation here. They're still going to wait. Again, the magician, right? This is someone who is literally in that full-blown manifestation mode, okay? They feel they're going to make it happen. And they're hell-bent on making it happen, no matter what happens, okay? So they feel they can come in with that page of pentacles and that drama. And you're still going to be, you know, there for them. You're still going to take them back. See, this is all happening because they know that you're the queen of cups. You're this emotional queen here, okay? You can be bitter. You can be vengeful. But the love is still there, right? You could have been very emotionally suppressed, suppressing your uh, feelings, etc. But um, they know the feelings are still there. I mean, if you're going to put up this King of Swords, kind of, I mean, they know that you're not the logical one here from them and from you. But they know it's going to be more like a defense mechanism, okay, in order for you to protect yourself from them. But they're still going to wait. I don't think they're giving up on you. They're going to wait for you to make a decision if you're keeping them on hold. What's the likely outcome? What's the best potential outcome? What's the best potential outcome Cancer can expect? King of Wands. They're taking action. Finally. They're being productive, right? Thank you. Give me one more card. The tower wanted to come out. Give me one more card. Give me one more card. Three of Pentacles, they want to work with you. Okay, let's see this. King of Wands with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so now this person is very zoned in on you. Okay, they're very, very, um, they're dead serious about you. Okay, like, um, very passionate about you. They want to work with you for sure. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles, yeah, they want to build. Okay and uh but it could also be that they want to try and know you better but with the three of pentacles here i also feel that somewhere somehow this person also feels that you are out of their league and being with you or matching up your energy is going to be a lot of work here okay that could be one of the reasons why they keep ghosting you or why they keep running away 
or why you keep going around in circles with this person here. The good part is at least that you got them to get that action, okay? From the page, at least they're going into the king of wands here. I like it. They're ready to work with you on this, okay? Like, this is an equal give and take, right? They're ready to be that, into that, uh, ready to put in that commitment, ready to put in that hard work, you know, in order for you guys to build from scratch, to build from foundation here. <coughs> If you're keeping away from this person, if you're not taking action, they will. Seriously, if you're not taking action, they will. We have a lot of wands here. There's a lot of passion this person has for you. The ace, the five, the three, the king. There's a lot of passion this person has for you, okay? This person is very passionate, but when it comes to investing, right, the investment part is this much. Your love for them is this much. They invest this much. That's where the constant conflict keeps coming in, you know. And this time you're like, you know what, cut the bullshit, dude. I'm in no mood of games. Because with the king of swords here, you're like, I know what I want. And if I'm not getting back from you, I'm good to go. You know, or I don't even want your back. I think you're going to be a little indecisive when this person comes in, okay. <clears throat> but they're still going to be waiting. Oh, with the Six of Cups here, well, yeah. See, like I said, rock reconciliation, Three of Pentacles, they're coming back. They're coming back to make it happen with you. That's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.